there are many different RAM configurations which you can use for your Ryzen 7 3700X. But I will tell you about the best combination which makes the most sense for your setup so that you know which, how much you should spend and which is the best value for your specific purpose. First we have the best value and performance kit which doesn't cost as much as it could cost. This is two Vengeance Corsair RAMs with 3600 MHz each. They have both 8GB which is a good amount of RAM if you are gaming or a normal browsing usage. So this is if you are a normal user and want to game with it, it gives you the best performance of the Ryzen and it is the speed spot which I would consider. After that there is the option for high-end users. If you want to go really high-end because you use it for competitive gaming or something like this for your Ryzen 7 3700X, then you could certainly go with a little bit higher megahertz. I would go in the 4000 megahertz range. This is really where you see the best performance but of course the price is way too high as well. So really pay a premium for it but if you want to have the ultimate performance you should consider going with 4000 megahertz RAM. Then there's the option for more budget oriented persons. So let's say you bought it to edit videos or have a nice feeling for games but don't really need the one percent more that you get if you increase your RAM speed, then you should go with 3200 MHz. Anything below that gets noticeable performance bump um, down and anything up there isn't really noticeable as well. So 3200 is the best spot if you're looking for a good value and don't want to spend that much. But I would still go with 16 GB with two 8 GB RAM, not mm. one stick but two sticks because they can work together in dual channel mode. This is nice and you should get this performance boost of course. The next option is if you really want to save your penny now and don't have much to spend, then just get one single 8 gigabit Ryzen RAM from Corsair. I can't really recommend it, but there's a catch to it. If you get one now, you can work with it, make all your things, but if you feel in half a year you have a little bit more money to spend, then you can buy another one of those. So you have 16 gigabytes in the future, but now 8 gigabit. 8 gigabit is enough, but you will see some slowdowns because it's not dual channel. But this is the best way to go because you have great upgrade possibilities up to 32 gigabytes in the future and you can just upgrade if you want to. The last option which you can consider is if you are video editing, then you should buy yourself two 16 gigabyte DDR4 or even two 32 gigabyte DDR4 RAMs with speeds from 3200 or 3600 MHz. The speed here doesn't really matter, so I would go with 3200 MHz because it is a little bit cheaper, but it can depend on what you find on Amazon or other stores because sometimes 3600 MHz can even be cheaper than 3200. But the most important thing if you are video editing, like say you edit 4K, then you should have at least 32 GB RAM, preferable even 64 GB. If you are added 6K, then of course go with 64. And if you are added only full HD, then 16 GB RAM can be enough, but 32 is better, but you can really go with 16 GB if you added full HD. 